Hello there. I'm going to look at a tune called John McGee Slide. And it's reasonably straightforward and uh, it's also a nice sweet tune. So let's give it a shot. So the way I'm going to teach this is I'm going to play it until you're pretty sick of it to start with. Uh, the idea is that it uh, gets into your head and that means that when you go to learn the bits and pieces you'll be able to fit them in. Uh, confidently. Uh, so now if you've got the fiddle in your hand and uh, I'm going to start off by playing it at sort of normal speed and then sort of slow it down a bit so you can just join in and then we'll look at the two parts in more detail then. <laughs> So John McGee slide, now let's look at it in a little bit more detail. And there you know what, we're going to start with the first part. So uh, it's a chance to look at something that you're going to find in a lot of tunes if you haven't done so already, and that is arpeggios. They tend to crop up everywhere. In this case, it's the arpeggio of D. So it's So the scale of D. First note, third note, fifth note, last note. So 
So those are the first notes of John McGee's slide. Now, another thing that you'll notice in Irish music quite a lot is this little triplet here, which is the first, second, and third fingers in a row. In severed bows, so after that we play an A. So we've learned two useful things already, that arpeggio of D and also that little triplet there. Let's put it all together now, starting with the arpeggio and then the triplet and the A string. So next you just repeat that a little bit, the triplet and the A string. So, put that together. So the next bit is just the second finger on D and the first finger. triplet again, you finish off on the E string. So what you've got is Let's do that again. Finish off with a CD on the A string. In other words, second and third finger on A. Let's do that wee bit again. So let's play the whole first part now, or the entire first part if you prefer. incorporates a wee bit of the first part when you think about it. So let's start at the start of the second part. Then our triplet and the A string. Let's do all that now. Is 
So. Do that again. And nicely, we're very nearly finished now because you're going to repeat that little bit there. And then you're going to repeat the end of the first part as the end of the second part. The trumpet ending on the E string and the CD. So the whole, the entire second part now is John McGee's slide, and it's farewell for the moment from the High Cairn Rebellion.